welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing seven easy steps that will be speeding up any internet connection on your windows 10 and windows 11. now before starting it's really recommended that do not skip any part apply all the steps because all these methods are tested and it will be surely improving the performance and the internet speed on your computer so without any delay let's quickly get started now the very first thing that is recommended that go ahead and update your operating system very simple click on your windows search type update click on check for update and here again you can click on check for update and if there is any update available kindly go ahead and download and install them now why i'm recommending you to update your operating system because many time there are some kind of bug or outdated network adapter drivers due to which you can have slow internet connection problem so it's really recommended that at least in a month go ahead and check for the update and if there are update available kindly go ahead and download and install them now next in the windows settings only from the left in menu option you have to click on network and internet click on it now here you will find all kind of your internet connections so through whichever you are connected like wi-fi or ethernet you have to click on it and here you will find an option of metered connection so by default this option might be enabled on your computer now once this metered connection is enabled it says a map might work differently to reduce data usage now if you really don't care about the data usage and you need the best internet connection speed then you will have to disable this option once disabled you have to close it now next you have to close all the unnecessary application running in the background especially when you are doing gaming or working on other kind of heavy application so click on your windows search type resource click on resource monitor and here click on the network tab now wait for some time it will list you all kind of services and application running in the background and on my end you can see that microsoft edge is running it's occupying a lot of bandwidth so if you are not using microsoft edge and still it's running in the background then you can simply make a right click on it and choose end process tree do the same with the other application that you're not using right now and now next we have to change the dns server address because it's very important so what you can do click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now this will list you all kind of your internet connection adapter so whichever you are using let's say if you're using the wi-fi then right click on it click on properties now here you will find internet protocol version 4 just make a double click on it and now here you get an option that says you're the following dns server address so instead of using the dns service of your isp we will be using the fastest dns server address that can be either google or the cloud player okay so in order to find out that which will be the fastest dns for you what you can do click on your windows search type cmd click on command prompt and here you can ping both google and cloudflare and whichever give you the lower ping you can go with that particular dns so first we will ping the google so type ping space 8.8.8 and hit the enter key and here you can see we are getting the average ping of 41 ms so that seems to be high now again we will ping the cloudflare so for cloudflare i have to type ping space 1.1.1 and again hit the enter key and here you can see the average ping that i'm getting is around 13 ms that is quite low as compared to google so i will go with the cloudflare but if you get the lower ping for the google then you can go with the google both the dns ip address will be in the description so choose the second option here and in the preferred you have to type one 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 and one for cloudflare and alternate will be one zero zero and one now click on ok and click on ok now again right click on your wi-fi adapter click on properties click on configure now here from the top menu option click on power management and make sure this allow the computer to turn off this device to save power option has been unchecked uncheck this option and then from the top menu option only click on advanced 
and now here in the property section we have to make some changes like channel width for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz should be selected to auto the fat channel intolerant it should be disabled the preferred band it should be selected to preferred 5 gigahertz band the roaming aggressiveness it should be selected to lowest if you're really close to your router now next is the transmit power so choose it to highest from the drop down and then click on ok and now you can close it and now next we have to change the limit reservable bandwidth so for that you have to click on your window search type gp edit click on edit group policy now in case if you are using windows 11 or 10 home edition then probably you won't be able to use the group policy but i have already created a video that how you can enable this option so watch that video enable this option come back to group policy editor now here in the computer configuration you have to click on administrative template double click on it now here you have to look for network double click on it and then on the right hand side you have to look for qos packet scheduler again double click on it and here you will find limit reservable bandwidth double click on it and choose this option to enabled and in the bandwidth limit make it to 90 it should be set to 80 percent but we will be making it to 90 okay so once it's been done click on apply click on ok and now you can close it now next it's also recommended that once you're not using the windows update you can disable the windows update service for that click on your windows search type services hit the enter key and here you have to look for the windows update so keep scrolling down until you find the windows update once you get it double click on it and from the startup type select to disabled and then you have to click on stop then click on apply and then you have to click on ok now keep in mind that this service you have to disable only when you are not using the windows update but once you have to update your windows operating system you will have to come back again and you have to enable this option okay once you are done we are only remaining with the final step where we have to reset the flush and all kind of cache from your network so click on your windows search again type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and here you have to run two simple command the first one will be netsh space winsock space reset the next one will be ip config space forward slash flush dns again hit the enter key and now it will ask you to restart the computer so go ahead and now restart your computer and i'm very sure now that you will be having the better internet connection speed and if you had any kind of slow connection problem that problem will also be resolved so that's all guys for today hopefully this will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.